What's up? So here I am talking about the light switch V2 and you may say I'm a little biased because I work at 533 But I have to buy all my parts just like you do so I built this as a binding fly and uh, The reason why I want to talk about it is because this is the drone that I take out when I want to get the best times and uh, The reason why I believe is because it's really light and uh, the power to weight ratio is uh, is really where it's at on this drone. So I'm going to talk about what's in this drone. We have 2207, 2070 KV uh, Champions Edition MR30 motors. And that means the MR30 uh, unplugs the motor. And if I ever burn a motor out, I can just change it out really quickly with the MR30. And these Champion Editions, they are really fast and uh, really powerful. So uh, you got to really watch it on the throttle. I use the throttle limit. That way uh, we don't have any over throttles or overshooting and stuff like that. I'm not the best racer out there, but uh, I think a throttle cap is needed for uh, these motors because they're really powerful. So the... The powerhouse that's pushing these motors is the uh, 45 amp ESC by T motor. So this 45 amp ESC, uh, they we put them in all of our rated flies, and they seem to be very reliable. And uh, I've seen people crash them and flip them and do all kinds of stuff, and they just keep on going. And then next we have the uh, Fox Ear MPU 6000 F722. Uh, flight controller that flight controller is bulletproof that thing it really gets the job done and uh, I've seen them in a lot of drones and I've seen the best racers run those MPU 6000 uh, flight controllers and this one seems to really get the job done and then uh, I've got the Predator Nano uh, camera for analog with ghost and uh, I, I don't know my, many difference between uh, different analog cameras, but uh, I can see pretty good with this one, and I'm pretty happy with it. So that's what uh, I went with was the Predator Nano, and uh, the 3D prints go with it. And uh, this one I've built just a little bit different. Now what I'm used to flying is is I'm used to flying this Switchback Zero. If you look at the grass and everything on this switchback zero then you would know that uh, this is the one I practice with but this is the one I bring out when I really want to get faster times and uh, really push myself to get around the track and and uh, be competitive and I think it's because it's light and the power to weight ratio it really outshines uh, a drone like this that's heavy and uh, it's got this one's got the 30 by 30 stack on it this one I built to be budget friendly and to beat around so but this one right here this bird is the one that I pick when I want to really do good so this one is usually the one that uh, I'm being real competitive with and uh, it's really light but uh Let's go ahead and do uh, some laps around the track here. I've got like a mini GQ set up. Uh, this one is set up just like the GQ but missing the, the small gate here. But I'll do a couple laps and uh, you can see what it's like. And uh, I, I put my battery on top on this one. I'm, I'm not a racer, I mean. But uh, the reason why I put my battery on top is because I feel like putting your battery on top makes it handle better. I don't know. But uh, that's how I'm going to run it. So, let me get my battery on here. And we'll get some my goggles on and get this thing going. And we'll use the 1550 battery. Uh, it's a HLK 1550 that they sell it. 533 and uh, I really like these batteries because they last for a long time and they really put down the power 
Uh, my throttle cap is at 24,000 uh, kV or 24,000 RPM limited and uh, that's mayhem is what they call that uh, because they run uh, tracks like all day long with mayhem and I think that's uh, the best RPM limit for me so let's get this going do a little hover test for you make sure my goggles are on you can see All right, here we go. A little hover test. Sounds nice and smooth. There we go. We got the hover test done and now we will go around the track. And I'm not worried one bit about that crash at all. Just make sure my props are halfway decent. Go back at it.
right, there you go. That's me flying around the track, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. And uh, we'll have some more like this. But uh, yeah, if you want to go fast around the track, and and uh, I mean, I'm not really good at racing. You can tell. I had some a uh, couple of bobbles of crash, and it just keeps on ticking because it, it can take a, a beating. So, uh, but no, you guys got to try this out if you want to get faster times and you don't have uh you don't have something this one will push you to go faster uh, because it feels very comfortable going around and and i use this as my as my the one that where i want to make my good times and everything this is the one i use but uh there you go guys hope you enjoyed i'll leave a link in the description for everything on this drone or if you want to buy the drone yourself and uh, I'll probably be the one building it for you. All right, guys. See ya.